a sec. I want to talk about what happened this morning. No. We're going to have to find a new place to live. She's so going to get us kicked out of here. Sneaking out every time we want to. As if that's ever going to happen. We live with three walking, talking security cameras. Aye, 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 cut all that out. Haven't you got homework or something you're supposed to do? Oh, Xavier, wasn't it your turn to go and buy the milk this morning? Okay, we're going. What, it takes two of you to buy milk? Yep, I'll get the bread. Hey, a parcel arrived for you today. Forwarded from your last address. It's from Italy, by the look of it. What is it? Who cares what it is? It's going straight in the bin. Well, maybe you should open it. It might be something important. Burn it. Give it to charity. You can just get it out of my sight. I, I feel a bit guilty about doing this. But you said to do whatever you want with the box. And they're just going to waste otherwise. Now, if you feel really bad, we can give what's left over to the poor. <laughs> but you'll be missing out because they're fantastic. Vittorio, what did he do exactly? Well, it's, it's complicated. She doesn't like to talk about it, so I don't think we should either. Maybe we should put some back. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you boofed half the box. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you did, kind of. I meant you to throw it out. Yeah, well, hey, come on. It's only chocolates. It's not as though there's anything private in it. I threw it away on principle. Yeah, well, whoever you're trying to prove your point to isn't going to know whether you've eaten it or not. Oh, no. Well, hey, was it really that bad? Come on, you need to lighten up a little bit. <sighs> OK, so it was an ugly breakup, but surely it's not the end of the world. It's, it's only chocolates. Bianca, can I have a word? Look, I'm really sorry about what I said in the surf club. I was angry with John, and I shouldn't have brought you into it. I'm sorry. Mm, thank you. I appreciate that. As for John, I understand he can press buttons, but he does live in this house, and I'd appreciate it if you could show him a bit more respect. But you heard what he said. It's just his sense of humour, and I know from experience he's not going to change. I'm afraid you'll have to get used to it. And uh, apart from John being my partner, he and Zave have only recently agreed to a truce after a long history of fighting. I don't need anyone else causing trouble in the house. So if this living arrangement's going to work, we need to discuss our differences civilly, not get all heated up and, and fling personal comments at each other. Agreed. Um, it won't happen again. And for the record, when I look at John, I see a kind and loving man who could sometimes do with keeping his big mouth shut. It's funny. People say the same thing about me. <laughs> I might go for a run, make sure that steam's gone for good. What was that about? Nothing. Bianca hasn't done something wrong, has she? It's all okay. Forget about it. Save washing up. Don't wind her up. She didn't have any right to act the way she did, but you don't need to make it worse. Look, I'll just have a quiet word to her and clear the air. No! Let it go. Look, I've laid down some ground rules, and so hopefully things will settle down on their own. What's wrong? I think they were talking about Bianca. Mum said all this nothing. Well, how can it be nothing if they're still talking about it? Been for a run, I see. Um, yeah, where's Gina? 
Uh, she's uh, having a shower. Thought she'd get in while the going was good. <laughs> right. Hey, listen, um, about this afternoon, yeah, clearly I, I can't give back the chocolates we ate, but uh, yeah, what have I got to do to fix this up? Let's just leave it, yeah? Well, I'm trying to apologise here. What have I got to do to make it right? No, just forget it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Remember what I said about holding grudges? Yeah, I do, because when people talk, I listen. Look, I'm trying to say I'm sorry, so, uh, listen, why don't you, uh, go buy yourself a treat on me? How many times do I have to tell you? It's not about making up for what you did. It's about realising you did wrong in the first place and then never doing it again. What? Yeah, go, let's go for a walk. I'll have that 50 if you still give me that away. He was in the wrong. I don't care who's right or wrong. I like living with Xavier, so for once, can't you just be a nice sister and get along? Oh, right, so I'm supposed to ignore the fact that he called me temperamental and then tried to buy me off. I'm sorry, why should I have to put up with that from anyone? Well, because for one thing, you took what he said the wrong way, and for another, we are guests in that house. But this is not given the right to be so arrogant. You always have to be such a self -sister. Don't just say something you'll regret. Why shouldn't I? But that is all you ever do is say stuff I regret. When are you going to grow up and realise that your opinion isn't always the most important one in the room? Hey! If you don't stop confronting everyone about everything, you're going to end up with no job, nowhere to live, and... You're going to end up alone. Bianca! I should be able to take it. I promise I'll be a good girl from now on. Thank you. But I, I think this is going to keep being a problem until we fix what this is really about. What's that? You've always been full on, but I think the normal Bianca would have tried harder to respect Gina's wishes. I just, I think there's a reason why you keep getting into so many fights with people and... Not people, John. You know what I'm saying? You're being extra feisty. All right, what do you want me to say? I, I just, I wonder if you're punishing yourself. Why would I do that? Breaking up with Victoria? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but... No, this is not up for discussion. I want to go home. Out, please. Yeah. That was a lovely meal, John. Oh, it's okay. Anybody can throw a chop on a Barbie. Well, still, it was nice. Maybe I can repay you by making you some dessert. Oh, I think I've had enough sweets for one day. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that was a sore point. No, it's not sore at all. Well, perhaps you'd explain to me something I'm a bit confused about. Okay. Why on earth would your ex send you chocolates when he surely must have known how you were going to react? What do you mean? No, first, I tried to apologise to you. When that didn't work, I tried to buy you some treats and then you threw that back in my face. That was completely different. How? How is really none of your business. Oh, no. Guys. I think it is, seeing as I'm one of the people you're taking your frustrations out Only on. Only because you deserved it. Well, if you settled your differences with him like this... Now, little you see, one I don't have differences like this with him because he was not an utter idiot. Bianca! OK, that's it. John, why don't you go... Get out of everybody's way. Good idea. Bianca, shut up! Bianca, I'm sorry, I can't deal with this anymore. Excuse me? This isn't working out. You're going to have to leave. 